Hi guys, welcome to a weekly vlog. It is Tuesday and I just got done with work. Well, not really, I've been done with work for like 45 minutes, but I've been tidying things up. Ben's on his way home and I'm about to start making dinner, but I thought I'd just start this weekly vlog here. I'm starting this weekly vlog on a Tuesday because Ben and I were actually gone this past weekend. It was Columbus Day weekend. We were at his family reunion on his mom's side. They have a family reunion every year on Columbus Day weekend and they rent these cabins at this state park that's about an hour away from us. And it's always really nice getting to be out in the fall, getting to see his family. We all get along really well, so that was a nice long weekend that we had there. But yeah, we just got home yesterday and have been kind of just getting back into the swing of things today and yesterday as well. We kind of just like came back and vegged out all day. Now I'm just kind of getting back on track for this week. I have some laundry done. A load of laundry is in right now. Today, obviously I'm not wearing any makeup. I did work a full day, but I work from home, so I didn't have to put any makeup on or get ready or any of that good stuff. So just in some comfy clothes. I was gonna put makeup on for this vlog to start it, but I was like, you know what? This is just how I am today and it's gonna be accurately reflected in my vlog, so. Here we go. I'm about to get started on dinner. I'm making honey sriracha salmon, which I make basically every week at this point. I feel like I make it every single week. Um, I'm making that with rice and broccoli. Tonight, we're not really gonna be doing that much. I'm gonna probably finish up some laundry and probably just honestly relax a little bit. I don't know what Ben's plans are, but Ben also said he just called me on his way home and he said that he's not really feeling well, like he's getting a scratchy throat. So he probably caught something from one of the many children that were at the family reunion this week and just all those good germs going around. But yeah, he has a sore throat, so hopefully he doesn't get any worse, but we all know how that typically goes down. Typically it does get worse and it's just the beginning of a cold or some other illness, but yeah, so this vlog could very well go down the route of just being ill this week, but we'll see what happens. I don't really have any grand plans for this week. It's kind of just gonna be like a homey vlog. I wanna make a roast this week, so I'm gonna start it tomorrow, but it has to cook all day, so I'm gonna start it tomorrow after work and cook it all day on Thursday, and we'll have it Thursday and Friday. I have this box behind me of all these goodies that we brought back from the family reunion. Just a bunch of junk food and candy that I can hand out to trick-or-treaters because trick-or-treat will be happening in a couple of weeks now. So we're started on the candy and the snacks. But yeah, let's get started with making dinner. Here's the salmon before it goes in the oven. I just mix some sriracha, some um, soy sauce, garlic, and honey. And you just pour it on top of the salmon, put it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. Here's the finished product. I have some jasmine rice on the bottom, made some broccoli, and then I put some sriracha mayo on top and a little extra sriracha. So we're gonna eat now. my previous videos you know I have been getting back into doing couch to 5k and I had started at week 
four of Couch to 5K, which is halfway point, but I kind of abandoned it um, because I realized I could run further than what the Couch to 5K was giving me. I guess I haven't lost the running as much as I thought I had. So last time I ran, I think it was last week, I ran like 15 minutes straight. So this time I'm going to try to run a little bit longer than that um, and just kind of increase it every time I go out. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. But it's kind of like pitch black outside and it's also really cold. So hopefully I'm going to be okay out there. We'll see. I'll report back. All right. I'm back now. <laughs> I only ran for like 15 minutes and then walked for five minutes. So I didn't get the whole 30 minutes in that I normally like to get, but I didn't give myself enough time to do that. So <laughs> that's okay. Better to get 20 minutes in than to get none at all. So yeah, just going to go get dressed, ready for work and do my full work day. And I'll see you at the end of the day. So will Eloise. Hi. What? See you later. Hi guys, it's later on now. I finished my work day. It's about 5.20 right now. And like I said the other day, I'm going to be making a roast this week. So tomorrow I'm actually going to make it for dinner, but it has to cook all day, like slow cook for hours. And so tonight I'm gonna prep that. Um, but we're going to eat the leftover salmon tonight But I don't have all the things that I need for the roast. I just need a couple of small things Like I need I didn't realize I needed white wine and I need thyme. I also want to get some Good Italian bread. So I'm gonna go to this Italian store near us to get the bread because they have really good bread there and Also go to the grocery store to get those other little things I need but I'm kind of in a little bit of a rush So I'll pick up where I'm leaving off now <laughs> when I get back Because um, the store that I need to go to closes at 6. So let's get going <music> grocery bags all right so i'm back now but i just wanted to add like a caveat because i was in a rush doing all of that the italian store i went into is called delelo's and i feel like they ship things to other grocery stores around the country i'm not positive maybe it's just an east coast thing but yeah i'm pretty sure they sell their items in other grocery stores but that was the Delelo store itself. It's near us and I love it there. It is like a warm hug when you go in there. And I also feel like I like it for nostalgic purposes because I've been going there since I was little. So I just love it in there. They have so many good things. I stopped myself from buying biscotti. I was looking at that very seriously about to buy it, but I didn't and <laughs> I did get the bread like I went in there for but I also got some artichokes because I love their artichokes in oil so probably gonna eat some of those when I get inside but yeah my little trip to the grocery store is done and I'm gonna go inside and make some leftovers and then make the roast welcome to my cooking show <laughs> Okay, so we've entered the part of the vlog where we're, where we're making the roast. And as you can see, I have this cookbook that I just got, which is very uncharacteristic of me because it is a Dungeons and Dragons cookbook. I have a story behind this. So, Ben is the kind of person who likes Dungeons and Dragons. And so is his family. His aunt actually made a, this exact recipe from this book. It's called Raid Venison Pot Roast because his aunt and Ben's cousin Chick are Dungeons and Dragon fa Dragons fans. So they're the type of people who would buy this book. She made that recipe for us and it was so delicious. It was like one of the best pot roasts I've ever had. And when I found out it was from this Dungeons and Dragons book, I was honestly a little bit shocked. I'm not gonna lie. 
No offense to Dungeons and Dragons, but I did not think that they would know how to cook a pot roast. <laughs> but I just am not a game person, so that's why I don't like Dungeons and Dragons. But the thing that I do like about it is the theming. Like, I enjoy this cookbook because it's like, you know, it's kind of festive in the theme of Dungeons and Dragons, but they have things separated by, like, what do you call those? The characters? Ben? What's that? The recipes are separated, like, by the types of characters? Uh, races. By the different races. Species. 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 So, like, also, it has I'm human. Ragged. Oh. <laughs> it's called Ragged? Yeah. They're barbarians, so I don't think they know how to speak. Oh, okay. I mispronounced it. It's Ragged Pot Roast. But yeah, like I was saying, it's sep the recipes are separated by the different species. So there's human, elven cuisine, dwarven cuisine, halfling cuisine, and common cuisine. And then it has a section for elixirs and ales. And I just think it's really nice, actually. And we were looking at the recipes, and there's a lot of good recipes in here, like particularly for the winter and the fall when it's cold outside and you want a hearty meal. Anyway, that's the backstory of this. So we're making a Dungeons and Dragons recipe, which Ben is probably thrilled about. I'm thrilled about because I know it's going to be a good recipe. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of into it. I like, I like the theming aspect. <laughs> but anyway, Ben is going to make it with me. We have all of our things laid out here to make it. <clears throat> My heart just did a flip. So excited. Actually, I think I'm just too hot. Let's get to making it. Oh, I lost my recipe. 37. 37? Ben already has it memorized. Here's the recipe close up. Let's get to cooking. Okay, the first thing you have to do is dry the beef, tie it up with some cooking twine and salt and pepper. So this is beef chuck. And I'm gonna do all this. This is a big hunk of meat. I don't even know how to use cooking twine. A little bit of streaming. Because we're gonna get our butcher's twine and we're gonna come over onto this edge and give it a good knot. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I had to Google how to tie this with, with um, what do you call this? Butcher, butcher uh, twine? So yeah, I had to watch a YouTube video on how to do that because I had absolutely no idea. Um, now you salt and pepper this. Okay, now we put this on the Dutch oven with oil. Ben has cut up and organized the other things I need. So we have bay leaves. What is that, salt, onion? Yep. Looks like flour, paprika, tomato paste, and oil. And we're gonna add it to the oil in this Dutch oven. I have the meat over in this bowl. <laughs> well, onion? Stirring is breaking the pot. Bailey's and salt. Bailey's and salt. Now you add paprika and flour. Stir that up. 
Then you add tomato paste. Then you add dry white wine. Does it say to do it slowly? No. Okay. No. I was scared it was gonna explode. No. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Just added some chicken broth. Now we're gonna add some apricots. Well, they're dried apricots. Shoot, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Three large sprigs of thyme. All right. And a whole thing of garlic. Is that skin supposed to be on it? So just the very top layer. Oh, okay. Do I mix it in or do I just let it sit there? I mix it in. What was that that you just poured in? Salt. Salt, okay. And stir, and then that's it for today. Cool. Here is what the pot looks like right now, plus we have the meat on the side. And since I'm making this for dinner tomorrow, I'm gonna put this, once it cools off, in the fridge. And I'll just be able to pop it in the oven tomorrow. Then over here, Ben's been working on cutting up some, what is that, dried apricots, carrots, potatoes? What is that green thing? A piece of parsley. Okay. <laughs> and then he cut up some parsley. I'm actually gonna throw that away. Why? You, got, you want it fresh for the day you serve it. It doesn't go in. Oh, okay. <laughs> sprinkle remaining with parsley and serve. Oh, okay. So I, I thought it was an ingredient, but I didn't. So then tomorrow you add this once it's already cooked for a couple of hours, and then you cook it a couple more hours after you add it all. So yeah, should be easy tomorrow, and will be a nice, delicious, hearty meal. How are you feeling about it, Ben? Strong. Strong. <laughs> festive apron on as well. It's halloween -y. <laughs> Taking it off now though. And probably just going to relax and then get ready for bed. I actually decided to watch this My Mom's Got a Date with a Vampire movie on Disney Plus. This was a popular Halloween movie when I was a kid and it's really terrible but it gives all the nostalgic vibes. So I'm gonna probably come in and out of watching this. Um, and then I will get ready to go to bed. We all went to school with a kid who looks like that. <laughs> if he grew up in the early 2000s, late 90s. Like he just looks like someone who went to school with. Also, I don't want to watch a nostalgic film unless it has that phone in it. Right off the wall. Hi guys, it is Thursday now and it's pretty late actually. Almost eight. Almost eight o'clock, but we still haven't eaten dinner yet. The roast is in the oven. It's been smelling it for about five hours. Yes, we have. It smells very delicious. <laughs> if I could put a scent through the video right now. It would smell <laughs> yeah, really good. Um, but I chose like the worst day to make this roast because normally I'm home all the time and today was the one day that I was not home like at the time that I needed to be home to put this roast in because I had an eye doctor's appointment to get my weird little patchy redness looked at. Turns out it is blepharitis, which is what urgent care diagnosed it as. I didn't know that. What's blepharitis? I, mean, I already told you that. That's what urgent care diagnosed it as and he confirmed it. It's just an inflammation of your eyelid basically that can be caused by bacteria. What kind of bacteria? I don't know. But he said just keep applying that ointment. Anyway, this isn't my eye doctor's appointment. <laughs> All this to say, the roast is almost done. It's about 10 minutes from being done. But that's why we're eating so late, because I couldn't put it in earlier. Because it takes like over four hours to cook in the oven. While we're eating the roast, we're going to watch Hocus Pocus. 
and we also have the fireplace on ignore all the wires and stuff we're gonna get rid of that we're gonna mount the tv it's just these things take time people okay we're on the way there but yes we're going to watch hocus pocus with our fire on even though it's kind of hot in here it's cold outside but it's hot in here and only a couple of our windows have screens on them right now so <laughs> We're sitting in the spot that is the coolest currently. But have you been upstairs yet? Mm -hmm. It's pretty warm up there. I it's pretty, pretty, pretty warm. I'm not feeling well. I'm just feeling well. Yes, Ben still isn't feeling well. His illness hasn't progressed as badly as I thought it was going to yeah, this I week. It was get crushed. But he still doesn't feel well. I'm kind of scared I'm getting sick because I just feel really tired today. Like I haven't picked up my camera before this because I was literally laying on this couch like a log. While this roast is cooking. In complete darkness. <laughs> Till Ben came down here. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Just feeling extra tired today. Maybe it's because I had one string of activity in my day when normally I have zero. <laughs> I guess we'll see you when the roast comes out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy roast! Oh yeah. Do I trust myself to pull this out? Oh yeah, there she is, wow, looks pretty good, yes. smells really good, Ooh. what do we do about that string? It's actually a structure. Oh, here she is, the roast meal with my nice bread, put some Irish butter on there, I'm ready to eat. We just got done eating the roast. It was extremely delicious. Highly would recommend. If I made it again though, I would make it with half the amount of apricots or dried apricots that are in there. Just cause the vegetables were a tiny bit too sweet. And almost like on the verge of being candied. But other than that, it was very delicious, very hearty and cozy meal. Now I'm going to go upstairs and take a bath, maybe read my Kindle in the bath and just get settled down and ready for bed. I filled up my Stanley. I was gonna shake it to show you the ice, there it is. I filled up my Stanley with a bunch of ice, ready for the bath, so I don't get overheated. And yeah, that's my plan for tonight. This was a very lazy Thursday. There was not a lot going on today. Just kind of just went to my eye appointment, worked a full day. So I guess there was a lot going on there. But once I was done, I was done for the night. So let's continue with that theme by taking a bath. Bath is filling up behind me as you can hear. But while that's happening, I'm just going to take my makeup off and get ready for my night. I like to take a bath with a clean face. And then I'll do my skincare once I get out. It's actually getting pretty cold, so let me turn that off. And now you'll be able to hear me better. So yeah, I'm just gonna take off my makeup. This is what I've used for forever and what I still use, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Wipe that off with a washcloth. Don't judge my washcloth. It is black because I use it to take off my makeup every day. And then I wash again with this Clinique All About Clean Cleanser. I get like everything wet when I wash my face at night. 
it's actually kind of ridiculous like this whole entire counter is wet <laughs> the floor is wet my shirt is wet my hair is wet i don't even know how that happens but it happens every night without fail Okay, like I said, I'm gonna do my skincare stuff when I get out, but I am going to brush my teeth before I get in there so I feel extra clean and most of my bedtime stuff is done when I get out and I'm ready to go into bed. I laid out my PJs for when I get out. Of course, I have ghost PJs. I already told you, I'm obsessed with ghosts in my other vlog, <laughs> for Halloween anyway. And it's complete with my ghosts little slippers that I got from Target. So that's for when I get out. Then over here, I have a candle lit. It is cinnamon pumpkin muffin from Target. My big jug of water. And I'm gonna get in my bath. I'm going to put this little bath bomb I have. I really wish I had a lush um, Halloween bath bomb. I had those last year. And I loved them, but I never ordered them this year, and I feel like it's too late to order them now, but um, I have other just like regular bath bombs that I can use. And then I'm also going to squirt in some of my body wash that I use every day, which is this Aveeno coconut like sensitive skin one. And we'll be good to go. The other thing is my Kindle. So I'm currently reading this Lisi story. I always forget how to pronounce it because it seems unnatural to say it that way, but that's how it's pronounced. Lisi story by Stephen King. Um, to be honest, I started reading this when we were at the beach, like back in the end of August into early September, and I'm only like 15% of the way through because I basically stopped reading it after the beach and picked it up again just now. Um, but I'm enjoying it so far. Also, that is Julianne Moore on the cover because they turned it into an HBO series or is it no it says Apple TV yeah an Apple TV series that I haven't watched yet but I'll probably watch it after I read the book but I want to see how it is in book form first but yeah I've been enjoying that I'm gonna read that when I'm in the bath here's the bath bomb I'm gonna use it's called melon ball plop that in there and then I'm gonna put some of this in like said and probably turn the water on for a little bit to make let it um fizz up and there we have it we are ready it looks a little bit gross in the camera to be honest <laughs> but in real life it looks like more of a true bright orange but i promise it's not i'm not stepping into a gross swamp of water <laughs> All right, the bath is draining by me, so ignore that noise. But I'm out of the bath now. I'm gonna finish up my nighttime skincare. First, I'm going to put this Clinique Clinique Moisture Surge Intense under my eyes because I'm going to use a toner that has um, like an acid in it. <laughs> first but um i like to do my eyes before i do that because otherwise they kind of burn after i put the toner on and then i moisturize so i do my eyes first then get my toner recently i've been trying this peach slices acne toner um i went through a whole bottle before this and i think it helps a little bit with um preventing breakouts although i do have a pimple like right here right now and kind of getting rid of like the red marks after you get a breakout but honestly I don't know if it's any better than any other toner you would use I used to use Clinique's um I think it was called like step one toner and I really liked that this one's a little bit more harsh but I also think it's less expensive than the Clinique one so but it's also a lot smaller, so I honestly don't know. Can't say I would or wouldn't recommend this product. It's not bad, I just don't know if it does anything amazing for you. It does say that it has salicylic acid, alcohol free, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I've never read this bottle apparently. Um, 
clears and helps prevent breakouts, BHA and H AHA exfoliate skin and unclog pores, visibly tightens pores. That all sounds good to me, but does it actually do that? I don't know. Honestly, don't know. But I keep using it anyway. <laughs> I got it in the first place because I saw there's like this girl on YouTube who is a dermatologist. I don't remember what her name is. But I watched a video about like acne scarring or maybe like wrinkles. I don't remember what it was, but this was one of the things she recommended for that, for like cell turnover, cell turnover, but again, don't really know how well it works. Next, <laughs> I've been using for the past couple of months, this Curology custom formula that you can get. Um, I did like their, they have like a trial that you can do and then this is the bigger one they send after your trial is over. And I've really been liking this. I feel like I have noticed a difference with this. I just feel like my face when I use it looks more glowy. So my formula has tretinoin 0.01%, clindamycin phosphate 1%, azelaic acid, I don't know how to pronounce that, 4%. So I think whenever I got this, I said that I wanted to prevent wrinkles and also that my skin was prone to breakouts. And so that's what they came up with. But I like how the tretinoin is a low percentage because I had previously used tretinoin for acne and I felt like when I used it for that purpose, like no matter how much I tried to ease into using it and, you know, only use it a little bit and like try to work up to using it more frequently, like it just made my skin so dry and scaly. And so I think the lower percentage tretinoin really works better for me. So there's that. And then I go in again over my whole face with the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense. And then I just use Aquaphor on my lips. And we're good to go. I'm in my bed now, still reading my Kindle. I forgot to mention that I picked this book by Stephen King to read. Um, because, well, I like Stephen King, first of all, <laughs> and I've been reading his books, like, since I was a teenager, but also, I just happened to be Googling one day, like, what are Stephen King's favorite books, or something like that, or maybe I saw it in a tweet, I honestly don't remember how I came upon it, but I saw somewhere on the internet that this book, Lisey's Story, is Stephen King's favorite book that he has written, so I was like, well, I gotta read that now. I hadn't even heard of it before. But yeah, I discovered it that way on Google somehow. And then also discovered that they have the Apple TV series on it. So gotta watch that too. I have ignore the boxes all around. We're still unpacking. <laughs> Don't judge me. I have this little autumn ambiance video going in the background with sounds of fire and rain. I also have my fan going that you can probably hear. And on top of that, I'm going to put my white noise machine on because I'm the type of person who can't sleep without a bunch of noise. So I have it coming from three different sources to get me to sleep. But I wanna get to bed. I wanna be able to get some sleep because I plan on waking up early tomorrow to get my workout in so I can have another week where I've done three workouts Tomorrow will be my second workout, so I'll have to do one on Saturday or Sunday as well. So, yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow morning.
once again in my bed. <laughs> it is Friday night. It's 8.30 and I'm in my bed. But what has happened? So it's been over 12 hours since I filmed last. I filmed this morning going out for my run and I think that's all I filmed. And then I did my full work day. We had leftover roast. Ben is not feeling well at all today. I'm not gonna show him. He's sitting next to me, but he's not feeling well. Things really took a turn for the worse. And um, yeah, I just kind of sat around in my lonesome while Ben was up here taking a nap, taking a shower. And I mean, not that much time has passed since I stopped working. I stopped working at five o'clock and it's 8.30 now. So <laughs> it's about the right amount of things for me to do in that amount of time. Now we're here, I'm in my PJs and I'm about to edit my vlog this current vlog that you're watching vlog -ception. <laughs> I have a cup of tea sleepy time tea I feel like it's too hot to drink <sighs> pretty good Ben is playing some sort of game it looks dungeons and dragony but it's not what is it civilization civilization on his computer, he's playing it. Might as well be Dungeons and Dragons to me. Probably not gonna do much else other than edit my vlog and maybe read my book a little bit more. Tomorrow, what I had planned to do before Ben took a turn <laughs> was I wanted to go to that coffee place by us and go to that bookstore. But I'm feeling like Ben's not gonna be up for that tomorrow. I may just do it by myself. Without Ben. Huh? So get out. <laughs> but it's only going to take me like an hour to do those two things, so I'll be back. <laughs> also, I have to return stuff at the mall. Because I feel like my return time is about to end. So I actually need to do that this weekend, even though I have no reason to go over that way by the mall. But I'm gonna do it anyway. And so far, that's all I have envisioned for this weekend. This turned out to be a very low key vlog so far. We'll see what happens this weekend. Might get crazy. Might get crazy. I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is Saturday morning now. I'm currently making myself a cup of coffee and Ben a cup of tea. He's still not feeling well. But one of my favorite things to do now is to look out my back window. <laughs> this is out the window above my sink. And look at the light and how it shines on the back yard and on the porch. I just like how it shines on the mums. Whoops, I just hit you up against the window, got too close. <laughs> I just think it looks very peaceful. Eloise's little fence is out there if you can see it. I forgot to bring that in. She was out there the other day with me. And the cushions I also forgot to bring in that I was sitting on. So hopefully they're not ruined because we did get a little bit of frost. Is that what you call it? Frost? I think so. Just making men some Earl Grey tea. I'm making myself a little breakfast sandwich. I'm cooking up an egg. Got an English muffin in the toaster. And I have some bacon in the oven. Here's my breakfast sandwich with a little extra piece of bacon on the side because it wouldn't fit. <laughs> Just have an English muffin, one egg, cheddar cheese, and my bacon. You were in the background whenever I started filming. I'll keep you out though. <laughs> All right, so I've gotten dressed. I'm actually gonna go to that coffee place I was talking about in the bookstore. And I'm also gonna go to Target just to get a couple of little things, including soup for Ben that I'm gonna bring back for him. And then I have to return a couple things at the mall. I really don't wanna go there, but 
I think this is the last weekend I have to return it before I can't return it anymore, so I'm kind of forced to. But that is my plan for today. This is my outfit for today. I'm feeling kind of weird about it. I feel like I look like somebody's mom. I don't know how I feel about these jeans. I don't know. I just don't know how I feel about it. This top I like, but the rest of it, including the shoes, I just don't know about. But trying to be trendy, trying to be cool, trying to be in the spirit of fall. <laughs> this is looking at me like I'm crazy. These shoes I got from Target. They're like these little ballet flats. My pants I got from Abercrombie last year. I think they're the ankle, curve love, like ankle cut jeans. And then this top I got from Abercrombie this year, which is, it, I think it's like one of their activewear cardigans actually, but it's like a nice soft material and it's thin, so it's nice for a day like today where it's fall, but it's also um, kind of warm out. It's like in the 70s, so. Look at Elise back there. She's so cute. Aww. But yeah, that's my outfit for today, even though I'm unsure about it. Let's get going. Hi. Hey, Elise. Okay, so I'm at the coffee shop right now. There it is. It's so cute. Can I get my coffee? Oh, there goes the truck. <laughs> All right, I got my latte. I ended up getting their tiramisu latte, which was their special. It's very tasty. I'm drinking that. I really wanted to film in there because it was so cute. They did some renovations in there recently, and it looks like so cute in there but i didn't want to film because i was like the only person ordering and it was gonna be super awkward if i did that because they were all just staring at me so i don't know i wish i could have filmed though if i was with ben i would have had the guts to film but he's not here also it feels weird being out doing things on my own like when i was walking into the coffee shop i was like why am i even here right now but i used to do things by myself all the time i just got used to being with Ben now when I'm out by myself I'm like this is pointless why am I doing this but you know we're we're gonna enjoy it all right I'm gonna go into the bookstore now it's starting to heat up in my car pretty bad because I'm just sitting here with the air off there's the bookstore down there that I'm going to go to it's tucked in that little corner down the street It was so cute in that bookstore. I really liked it. I got this book called The Women, which is about um, a woman who served as a nurse in Vietnam and about her coming back from that. I, I think it's fictional, but it's like a historical fiction, if that makes sense. Um, I heard it's really good, so I want to read that. And then I also found this little sticker in there, which is so cute. It says, small towns don't mean small minds. And it has all these gay pride flags, the trans pride flag, Black Lives Matter. I love that so much because my town is really conservative. <laughs> and so to see this makes me feel like I have hope for where I live and for the future. So got this. I've seen people put stickers like on the backs of their kindles and stuff like that so maybe i'll add this to my kindle um yeah it just brings me a lot of joy to see that all right i'm back now sitting in my car i had a successful little shop i went into this day thinking i wasn't going to enjoy it Wait, there's like a million bugs on my garage door. I think they're those lanternfly things. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, <laughs> I went into this day thinking I wasn't going to enjoy it because Ben wasn't with me. And I always feel weird when he's not with me and like a little bit on edge. But I actually really enjoyed myself. I had a good day. I loved that little bookstore it was so cute in there i'm definitely gonna be back there the people in there were so nice and i just loved everything they had in there so i'm glad that they have that now because that's a new addition i went into a couple other little shops that are in that main street area where the bookstore was and i i'll show you when i get in there i got a couple of things there too the girl in there was really nice i got this pumpkin spice chai granola 
she gave me a sample of it and it was so good and i use granola every day anyway on my um yogurt so i actually am going to use that it's going to be delicious and what else did i get in there oh i got biscotti in there they had biscotti and i had to get it but it was really cool they had stuff in there like all these different foods from different people who make them locally and then i stopped into a boutique down there that has clothing and then i went to target i got a lot of good stuff in there too so i've had a good shop but also just going around today made me think about how grateful i am to live here <laughs> like i'm so i feel like my life is so much more pleasant now that we moved and obviously super grateful to have a house never thought we would have a house like this when we first bought a house in this location in this neighborhood like i'm so happy and grateful for that and i feel like my life now is just more pleasant like my day-to-day -day, everyday life like going out then to go shopping it's nice that we have small shops i can go to um and when you go in there people talk to you and like at the coffee place we were talking about how they were doing their renovations and the girl at the food place was showing me the granola and the bookstore they were all like oh that's a good book i've read that before and you're gonna enjoy it like those types of interactions i feel like just create so much meaning and also just it's just more pleasant here like <laughs> where we used to live was so congested it was like a business type of district and um just a lot of people a lot of chains and I thought I was happy there and I lived like a pretty pleasant life but in comparison now like this just feels I feel like Ben and I say this all the time we feel like we're on vacation all the time now and so I never want to forget how this feels I never want to be ungrateful for everything I have and yeah I just every day I wake up and I'm like I can't believe this is my life right now and then the other part of me is like i feel like something bad is going to happen because <laughs> this is like it's too good now something bad has to happen to even it out that's how my mind works you know a very anxiety driven person but you know you can have these things you can enjoy your life things can be good it's not good all the time we know that but <laughs> enjoy it while you have it that's my motto. Okay, I'm getting out of this car because it's so hot in here. All right, I'm in the house now, and I'll show you all the things that I got. So, first, the main event was the bookstore. Um, I was just looking at the back. So, at the bookstore, like I said, I got this book. Oh, yeah, I already showed these in the car. Got this book. I've heard a lot about this book and how good it is, so I really want to read it. It's also kind of fat. But the text is a little bit bigger, so, you know, I'm excited to read that. Then, like I showed you, I got that sticker. Oh, I already showed it to you, but there it is. And at the other store I went to, like I said, I got this granola, which I sampled in there, and it was so tasty. Oh, it's called orange spice chai. Why did I think it was pumpkin spice something? Did I get the wrong thing? I might have gotten the wrong thing. <laughs> it says fresh orange zest and rich chai together with maple syrup. Maybe that's what, it did taste fall like, so I think this is the one I tried. Anyway, got that and then I got some cranberry biscotti, which I'm excited to eat. I might have some of that right now. But yeah, both of these things are made locally, which I thought was really cool. Everything in the store, was local. Then at Target, I got fun <laughs> staring at me. I got a lot of stuff that I just needed to um, replenish, like toiletry stuff, Listerine, stuff like that. But I got this Pantene Pro V volume shampoo and conditioner because I'm gonna try Pantene again. I'm on a quest to find a cheaper shampoo and conditioner that works for my hair. I've been using Dove Bonding, I think it's called, shampoo and conditioner, which I like, but I feel like it makes my hair kind of greasy fast. Yeah, I actually got it from Target. I think I have developed an obsession with laundry things. <laughs> I got some more downy because 
I swear, I've had the Johnny I have now for like, <laughs> like eight years. eight years, and I swear it like doesn't work anymore because I used it on our bedding and it doesn't smell like the bedding didn't smell or anything and I used it on a couple other things and it wasn't smelling so I'm like probably just need to buy a new one but like this just lasts forever and I got the smallest one that they had at the store so I got that and to go with it I got the matching scent beads because I, I'm just obsessed with scent beads now I guess <laughs> but we'll see I, like I said they kind of bother my skin so we'll see if this um that bothers me but got that i got this blush stick which oh it was upside down i got this blush stick which is pixie and it's on the glow blush in the color juicy i've seen other people wear this like i saw a couple of people on tiktok wear it some people on youtube wearing it and i feel like it would look good on my pale skin but we'll see how that works got ben soups don't worry guys he's covered Got his soups that he likes. Also, in the food department, I got these little chocolate croissants that I thought I could eat tomorrow morning or maybe right now, because they look pretty good. <laughs> and I got a mug, and it's a Christmas themed mug. And I probably shouldn't have got it, but once you see a mug that you like, you gotta snatch it up at Target because it could be gone the next time you go in there. So, yeah, I got this Christmas mug super cute and it says holly jolly on the inside got that i have an obsession with mugs and it's a little bit out of hand like i did not need another christmas mug but i got it another thing that i don't need another one of is a notebook but i just really liked this notebook look how pretty it is and it was only eight dollars that's really how i justified buying it but one thing I want to do is to start journaling again. And I got another journal from Target a couple months ago saying I was going to start journaling again with that one. And it never happened. But I used to be the type of person that would journal every single day. And I don't do it anymore. So I really want to do that. Thought this would be good for it. It's also kind of fall, fall themed. So I like that. I've got some standards, just some dry shampoo. I also got this binder i got this binder and sheet protectors because i have a lot of recipes that i use that are print out that i would like to have physical copies of and i thought this would be a good place to put them and keep it in my kitchen so i don't have to like use my phone all the time but yeah that is all i got from target and all i got today on my outing i also realized when i came in that i said i was going to return my stuff at the mall and I totally forgot about that till I came in here and saw the things that I need to return. So probably going to go out and do that. Maybe I can go out and do that tomorrow though because I don't really feel like doing it right now. But now that I'm back here, I don't want to go back out. But yeah, that was a pretty successful little shop. Also, my coffee bed. I got tiramisu. Oh, shut up on that. <laughs> Is it good? I asked for half the amount of syrup so it wasn't super sugary, but it is pretty good. It tastes kind of fall-like. Mm. I also just got an Etsy order in the mail. So I ordered this like a month ago and it just got here. And it's another sweatshirt. I got two fallish sweatshirts. This one's not as fall as the other one. So I wore the other one. I think I wore it earlier in this vlog, like the cat one with the bats and stuff like that on it and the pumpkins then i got this one which is so cute it says respect the locals and it has wild blank animals on it and it's nice and oversized i like the color of it it's like a fall like color and can't wait to wear it. Basically, all I wear now during the day is sweatshirts because I work from home. So, sweatshirts and leggings are the name of the game. It's from Plantiful Design Co. on Etsy. Yep. Very cute. All right, I'm in my car again because I decided to actually go to the mall to return my stuff because I can already feel I'm going to be too lazy to do it tomorrow. So, I'm going to do that. Ben's still lazing around because he doesn't feel good. 
And on the way home, I'm going to pick up chilies, which recently I've been really into chilies chicken crispers. <laughs> I don't know why. I used to love them. Then chilies started being really bad. Every time I get their chicken crispers, they taste like rubber. And then recently, I feel like chilies is having a resurge in popularity, mostly due to TikTok, which brings me to my next point, is I also wanted to get the triple dipper appetizer. Um, triple dipper appetizer. I feel like that's a tongue twister. Which I was influenced to get from TikTok. I feel like a lot of things in this video I was influenced to get from TikTok or another online social media presence. Anyway, I keep seeing the triple dipper online and it makes me really want it. So I got an order of chicken crispers with fries and corn on the cob and then the triple dipper with boneless wings in it which ben will eat um nashville hot mozzarella sticks and the regular mozzarella sticks which there's no way i'm gonna eat all those mozzarella sticks i'll probably put them in the fridge to eat them later this week but that's what the plan is all right i'm back now with the goods the chili goods what's this chicken crisper combo yes chips and salsa Ben wanted that and then the triple dipper the triple dipper I'm gonna be honest it looks more appetizing on TikTok <laughs> I thought they were freaking I'm gonna try one like spring rolls <laughs> they're not they're mozzarella sticks okay this is the Nashville hot mozzarella stick Hmm. It's good. But I feel like I feel like if I ate this whole thing, I would like want to throw up. Flavoring on it <clears throat> is like a bit much. Not that it's spicy. It just tastes like they poured like a bunch of powder on it. Here's the regular mozzarella stick. I'm gonna dip it in some mozzarella sauce. Or <laughs> marinara sauce. Hmm. I think I like the regular one better. For the vlog, I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> I'm a serial killer. For the vlog. Alright, well. Pretty good so far. I'm gonna continue eating. Hi guys. It is Sunday now. It's in the afternoon. It's almost 2 o'clock. I just picked up my grocery delivery. Good delivery. <laughs> I just picked up my grocery order. And I just thought I'd show you what I got because I feel like this is gonna be pretty uneventful Sunday <laughs> So I need to fill it with something here are my groceries. So this week I'm going to make a new recipe for it's a soup. It's like mushroom and chicken wild rice soup something like that <laughs> I saw the recipe on Pinterest and I thought it looked good and I wanted to make some sort of soup So I got that for that. I got mushrooms I got this cheese for the recipe. This cheese is just for me snacking on. This rotisserie chicken, which you can buy shredded, it honestly grosses me out to even look at it. I don't know why, <laughs> but rotisserie chicken just gets to me sometimes. Um, what else did I get for that recipe? These carrots, celery, garlic, chicken broth, heavy cream. Um, what else? That might be it. I think I had everything else that I needed to make it. And then I got, you know, the standards. I got milk for my lattes. I got the strawberries for my granola, salads for lunch. I got these Yasso bars because I like to snack on these. Got a little bit um, mangled, <laughs> but it'll still be good. Um, I like these ones and I like the cookies and cream. I also saw when I was ordering my groceries that they have a raspberry chip one, which sounded really good. I almost got it, but I didn't. Ben's lunch meat for his lunches. And bread for his lunches. What else did I get to make? Oh, I'm going to make a cod recipe this week. It's like a breaded cod. What? <laughs> Ben's making fun of me. A cod recipe. So I got cod. 
I got lemons for that. I've got these Ritz crackers, which you mix with panko and put on the cod in the oven, and green beans. And also unsalted butter, which is pretty uneventful. But <laughs> that is my grocery haul for this week. As for the rest of the day today, I'm feeling like I'm just going to be lazy. Um, maybe I'll unpack some boxes downstairs because that's just been weighing on my mind. Might do that. And then later I'm going to go over my parents like I always do on Sunday and have some dinner there. But they're not home right now. They're on their way home from a trip that they went on. So that will be later on. Right now, just going to put these away and I'll see what I get up to for the rest of the day. later on now. Eloise is sitting on my lap. She looks like she's about to be sassy. But I'm sitting on the couch now. I ended up going to my parents. We had dinner. My mom made spaghetti. <laughs> and I had some garlic bread. I had a caramel apple for dessert. And it was a pretty good time. But like I said, I knew I wasn't going to be filming much today because I'm just kind of in a lazy Sunday mood today. But I just wanted to come on and end the vlog here. I'm sitting on the couch, Ben's watching a football game and probably going to get ready to go to bed soon. Thank you for watching this weekly vlog. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like my videos and all that good stuff. Right now I'm at 49 subscribers, so I'd love to be able to get up to 50. One of you can make that happen. <laughs> and I wanna get up to 100. That's my next goal, 100 subscribers. Let's see if we can do it. Eloise wants it too. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time, bye.